In this example, we want to convert a fourth order initial value problem into a first order initial value problem for a system of differential equations. So we start here with this fourth order differential equation here with initial equations given on the map below it. I want to convert this into a first order system and write in the appropriate form. The trick here always is that we'll let each component be the derivative of the one before it until we get to sort of the last level here. And since it's a fourth order equation, I should want four components here. So I'll have x1 just being the variable y in this equation. x2 is going to be the derivative of y. x3 will be y double prime. x4 will be y triple prime. And why don't I need an x5? I don't need any more because I can write the fourth derivative of y in terms of lower derivatives using the equation. Here I know this is going to be t times y double prime minus e to the t y prime plus cosine of t squared times y. And so I don't need any more than these four here to say what's going on. And we can see that when we start taking derivatives. So this is going to be my vector x here. I want to figure out what is x prime. Well then x prime is going to be x1 prime, x2 prime, x3 prime, and x4 prime. That is what it means for it to be x prime. Now, x1 prime, if I scroll back up, is just y prime, right? Because x1 is y, x1 prime is just y prime, but that's just x2. x2 prime is just x3, x3 prime is just x4, and x4 prime is the fourth derivative of y, but I know what that looks like in terms of lower derivatives from my equation. So this will be the same thing as t y double prime is x3 minus e to the t y prime. That's minus e to the t times x2. And the cosine t squared times y, that is cosine of t squared times x1. So I can write that in the spot here. And that will work totally fine for an answer here, but I can go one step further, write this in actual matrix form separating out the different components to get something like a matrix times x1, x2, x3, x4. But how do I get this matrix? Well, I want to get x2 out of the first row, so it's going to be a 0, 1, 0, 0, because that multiplying across, multiplying this row by the column here gives me x2. For x3, I want 0, 0, 1, 0. For x4, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now for the last row, I put the equation where they belong. So I want t times x3, so I want a t here, a 0 times x4, a negative e to the t times x2, and a cosine of t squared times x1. And that would give me the matrix form of this system that corresponds to the fourth order equation. Now for the initial condition, that will be given as an initial value for the vector x. This equation is something like x prime equals this matrix A times x. And the initial condition will be something given on, say, x of 0. And based on above, I am told that I should have y of 0, which is x1, being 3. I should have y prime, which is x2, being 1. Double prime is minus 2. And third is 0. So the vector I get should be 3, 1, minus 2, 0. 3, 1, minus 2, and 0. So that would be the initial condition and how it's set up for this sort of problem as well.